YouTube, Jim Kids are here, bringing you guys um, a Madolce deck profile. I needed to do a new one um, since the absolutely catastrophic um, video I brought you guys before that I passed off as a Madolce deck profile. I wasn't very educated on the deck. I'd been receiving a lot of posts asking me to do it, and I kind of crumbled to doing something that I don't really like doing, which is posting something that I know nothing about. But I did, and I got really punished for it. So I've taken that video down because it was awful, and you shouldn't learn anything from it. And I've since completely rebuilt the deck. I've taken advice from another quite good Minolci player at my locals, who has won the locals a couple of times. He's definitely given me a run for my money. So, uh, in hindsight, I've built a new deck, and the only other thing I want to say before I start going through the list is that um, I don't know no Madolce Palooza, and no one has one for trade. I couldn't find one, so this is a 40 card deck without Madolce Palooza, but you can surely cut one card in this list from Madolce Palooza if you happen to have one, but I don't own one, so we're going to be doing the profile without it. Also, sorry if I sound a bit weird and munged up, I am a bit ill at the moment, but... Yeah, otherwise let's get into the list. So we play three copies of Stratos, three copies of um, Madolce Magdalene. For the, I'm just going to go through the effects quickly. This card, um, like all Madolces, goes back to the deck when it's sent to the graveyard. And, um, well, when it's destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the grave. Um, and when this card is normal or flip summoned, you can add one Madolce monster from your deck to your hand. Then play three copies of probably one of the most important search cards in the deck, other than Magdalene, is uh, three copies of Madolce Mess and Galato. Um, when this card is special summoned and you control a beast type, uh, just a beast type monster, uh, you can add one Madolce spell or trap from your deck to your hand. This is in, this is essential for searching your field spell, the Madolce ticket, which is the continuous continuous spell, and um, the Madolce Palooza, which you won't see in this list. But he's essential for those three cards. You really have to play him. I personally really like playing three over two. Because there have been some situations where I've I've had a play stopped and I need and I was able to make it again, but I needed two messing galatos for the play and I didn't have the two I I I, 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 I didn't have another messing galato in the deck, so the third is in there and it's not a bad draw. It's a sixteen hundred that under the field spell is twenty one, so I don't mind playing messing galato. And then play three copies of Madolce Who Cake. Uh, Madolce Who Cake is a card that made this deck really really good, which came out in Legacy uh, not Legacy the Valiant, <laughs> Lord of the Attack on Galaxy. Um, and he's able to banish any monster from your graveyard to special summon a Madolce from your deck. This card is a beast monster, so you can special summon um, Messing Galato and get Messing Galato's search. Or you can use this guy to special summon a level 3 and start going off with your invoker plays if you have the right setup on field and in hand. And then I play uh, two copies of Madolce Mufalu. Um, three is too much. You only really need one of these when you're going to go off because you go Mew. Hoot Cake, Hoot Cake banishes, uh, banishes a card in Grave to special summon Messing Galato, and you go off from there. And I, I'll probably do the play at the end of this video just because people will ask otherwise. But you only need two Mew. Um, I, I found that playing three just clogs, so. Again, learning from the past video. Then for the non, um, the non Madolce things, I play two Karkadi. I'm not a big fan of Karkadi and a lot of things, but this is one of the decks where I think Karkadi really shines. Um, this deck has little to no plays when it doesn't have the correct combo pieces in hand. Uh, yes, it can grind, but some of its monsters are quite little. Only really Messing Galato and um, Magellan grind very well. The other two really don't. So uh, Karkadi gets you to the things you need to get to, and it also uh, acts as a card in Graveyard for the effect of Hoot Cake. So it's, it's really good because it sets up so many things. Uh, I then play Double Spell Striker. Spell Striker is in here as a pseudo Mufilu. If you have this, um, this in Hoot Cake, or this Mufilu and Messing Galato, you have the Queen play, so Double Spell Striker is really nice in this. And we play a lot of spells which are quite expendable, so Spell Striker has a lot of fuel in the stack. And then something I'm playing, um, which may be different from some people's builds, is two copies of Effect Vela. I really like Vela at the moment. Um, a lot of people like Maxi, but I'm really not a big fan of Maxi this format. I really like Vela, the amount of things that it can stop and slow down. So the Veilers are in here. Um, I always like playing a hand trap in Madolce's because it gives me something to banish for um, Hoot Cake, and these Veilers are are that banishment target. So that brings us to the end of the monsters. Um, I can't remember how many it is, but that's a monster lineup that I'm happy with. Happy with. Um, I wouldn't recommend playing more monsters than that because otherwise I found it getting a bit cloggy. I was playing two Veiler, two Maxi, and less spell traps, but I prefer the deck this way round. Um, for our one-off spells, we play one Dark Hole, one Book of Moon, because this card is incredible at the moment. Uh, one Reinforcement of the Army to search out our Spell Strikers and our Messing Galato for our Mifilu play if we need it. Um, 
so it's really good in this deck. Um, I wouldn't play this if you don't play the Spell Strikers. If you don't play Spell Striker or Marauding Captain, uh, don't play this. And then my final one of is one creature swap. Uh, this is actually a tech that um, Lisa the Raichu um, wanted me to put in because this is the deck she plays for locals as whenever she actually goes because she's quit. Um, and uh, she really wanted to play creature swap and it is a lot of fun in this deck. You, yeah, in a lot of situations you have bad uh, bad hands, you can open bad in certain, um, a lot of the time really. <laughs> If you don't get your combo pieces, um, it's really cool to like go Magellan, search a card, and then creature swap the Magellan for something really huge. So you can just do some really cool stuff with that. And um, because Medolce cards say when this card in your possession is destroyed, um, if the Medolce is on your opponent's side of the field and then you kill it, um, it won't get its effect to send it back to the deck. So uh, Hoot Cake can manage it as a target. Just a little something there. Then we play a bunch of three ofs in the form of uh, three MST. You want to get your combos going off, so you want to play 3 MST for that. 3-up uh, Star Goblin, um, I don't feel the need for the 37th to 40th card. Well, the 38th, 39th, and 40th cards. So I play 3-up Star Goblin just to get me done my combo pieces but, uh, sooner, and I've never looked back since. Uh, one Terraforming for the 3 Minolce Chateau we play. Um, yes, Chateau can be searched with um, Messing Galato. But terraforming basically acts as a fourth up start goblin. Guess it's a shadow. Shadow is something you almost always need, and sometimes you can't get the messing galato play off. So the shadows are there, and I then only play one Medolce ticket because I've learned that you only need this card when you're going for the OTK um, or advantage push with Queen realistically, because you go uh, this card, Queen sends stuff back, and then this triggers special summoning a monster from your deck basically, which allows you to go off even more. So, one ticket is all you need, uh, Chateau is good enough for monster recursion, so ticket really isn't needed at any more than the one. I mean, two is okay, but three, like I played in the old version, was terrible. Now for the traps. Traps are fairly standard, um, and one thing I want to say is you'll find no Rageki Break and no Phoenix Wing Blasts in this build. Because after a lot of um, conversation with the Medolce player, who I kind of adapted this build from, um, he really dislikes um, Wing Blast and Rageki Break because while they do put a monster in Grave for your Hoot Cake, um, you lose so much advantage that this deck can't really recoup that it's not worth playing them. So I have cut them. So for the traps, we're playing Double Fiendish Chain. This was Double Wing Blast, but this is now Double Fiendish Chain, and I haven't looked back. You're now playing four forms of effect negation in the form of two Veilers, two Fiendish Chains. So you're able to slow down your opponent quite significantly, uh, so you have time to make your plays. Double Mirror Force, um, in my opinion, a staple in all trap-based decks at this format. Uh, one Compulsory Evacuation Device, um, I really don't like this card, this format, so I would cut it for Madolche Palooza. Uh, one Plot Miss Trapple, one Torrential Tribute, and one Solemn Warning. Rounding off our, our big old trap lineup. I say our big old trap lineup, it's eight traps, it's not very big. Uh, so that's our main deck. Um, it is 40 cards on the dot, I hope. I hope I haven't miscounted. If it isn't 40 cards, please cut some upstart goblins and I'll feel a bit stupid, but hey. And we're going to move on to the extra deck. Um, the extra deck is lacking in a few things because this is a lone deck. Um, and so it misses, uh, it's missing a few of the cards that I've been playing in my own decks. Um, also, this deck doesn't contain any Legacy of the Valiant cards yet because I have yet to be... I haven't been able to pick up a um, number 101 or Exiton Knight. So put those in if you have them, but I don't have them at the moment. So this is a... Uh, a pre-Legacy of the Valid build, but it really doesn't change that much about this. So we're playing double um, Madolce Queen Tiramisu. Uh, Tiramisu is really, really cool. Um, I only like two because it can put itself back in the grave. It can put itself back from the de uh, grave into the uh, into the deck, I believe. Yep. And there's a train going past. Um, this can shuffle the, the other copy of uh, out of the grave back into the extra deck, so you really don't need the third. Um, it is integral for so many push plays, and one of which I will explain quickly at the end of this video if I remember to. But I'll carry on. Uh, play one black ship, gets around Zen mains, gets around all sorts of problem things. One dire wolf, generic removal. One purple imperative, because switching things to attack mode is pretty cool. Uh, one Digusto Emerald, uh, for when you need, when you really lose your combo plays, sometimes you can get a few Messing Galatos stuck in Grave, so, and you don't have access to your Chateau, so Emerald is here for the bad situations in which you need it. Uh, Mace Stroke, because he's the best four. Uh, Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, Fairy King, Gem Knight Pearl, and then for the threes I play one Leviathan Dragon, double MX Saber Invoker, because sometimes you need to make the play twice, sometimes you get stopped with Swift Scarecrow and things like that. 
Uh, I then play one Levier and one Wind Up Zen Mains. And that rounds off our complete deck. Um, I don't have a side deck to show you guys yet, but hey, maybe I'll prepare one in the future. Um, as for the big combo that I was gonna that I was gonna showcase, I'll just prepare it now. But um, this is like the, the the key play of Minolce. Everyone should know this by now, but if you don't, that's cool too, I guess. Um, let's just go with the the me the easy play. Uh, as soon as I've dug everything out of this. So all we're going to go with is, and I may have to go back to the deck for more cards, is we're going to have a hand of um, these three. And we're going to have a card in grave, a uh, monster in grave, so we're going to have a card card in grave, which is this. So our grave is here, our hand is here. We're going to go, um, this doesn't even This doesn't even need to be in hand. What am I even on about? So we don't need the, uh, the missing glider in hand. You go summon Mufilo, Mufilo's effect, special summon uh, Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake's effect banishes the card card from the grave. Uh, Mifilu special summons, um, sorry, not Mifilu, uh, Hoot Cake special summons Messing Galato. Messing Galato searches your deck for, um, Medolce Ticket, which you'll need later. Uh, we'll just activate the Medolce Ticket because I don't, so that I don't have to have it in my hand. We then overlay these two for the Invoker. Detach one so that we have a target for, um, Queen in Grave. Uh, Messing, uh, Invoker is going to special summon as another, another Messing Galato from the deck. Wherever it's gone. We now have um, two Minolce level 4s, so we can exceed those two for the Queen. And we can then detach from the Queen, um, putting these two from the Grave back into the deck, which then activates the Medolce ticket, allowing us to um, search our deck for a Medolce, and because we control a Fairy in the form of Queen, we can then special summon it from our deck. Um, sometimes that can be um, Hoot Cake. If you have another card in Grave, you can then banish that card and activate Hoot Cake again. You can go for Messing Galato if you just want a beat stick. I'd usually go for Messing Galato because I often don't have a monster in Grave when I do that play. But I mean, say we had a, say we had another card cardie in Grave, we could then go without me knocking the tripod. Uh, Hoot Cake banish the second card cardie, get I don't know another Messing Galato, and such again for the Chateau, and you can just do crazy plays from there, and it's just pretty pretty damn cool. So yeah, guys, this has been um. I'm a Dolce deck, um, I hope you understood that combo because it was a bit nasally because of the cold and um, it was a bit improv but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, this has been Kid 0 and I'll see you guys next time with some less cold and flu Yu-Gi-Oh related content, <laughs> peace out guys, bye.